Dividing complex numbers really means that we want to change the form into standard form, a plus bi. For this one, it means I don't want anything in terms of i in my denominator, and we're going to multiply by the conjugate of 1 minus i. The conjugate changes the sign on the imaginary part. Notice how I've got a 1 minus i in the denominator. We're going to multiply by that 1 plus i. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to multiply that denominator by 1 plus i, and I'm doing that to create a difference of squares. My middle terms are going to drop out. It's going to work out perfect. But whatever I do to the denominator, I need to also do to my numerator. Now I'm going to start by multiplying that numerator through. As I multiply that numerator through, I'm using FOIL, first, outer, inner, last, or just distribution. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Let me put this here. And then 2 times i is a plus 2i. In the middle, I've got an i times 1, so plus another i. And then on the end, I've got a plus i squared. We're going to clean that up in just a second. In my denominator, in my denominator, I'm going to go ahead and FOIL this one out as well. But I know that I can also use the rule a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So instead of FOILing it out, all I need to do is to square my a, which is 1, minus my b, which is i. So I end up with 1 minus 1 squared, really, minus i squared. Now I know by the definition that i squared is a negative 1, so I can replace this i squared with a negative 1 and this i squared with a negative 1 as well. So starting to clean up my numerator, I've got that 2 and then those i terms. 2i plus i is 3i, and we're going to replace that i squared with a negative 1 on the end. In my denominator, I have a 1 minus a negative 1. That's going to become plus. In that numerator, I'm going to put the real part first, so not the imaginary term. So I want the 2 minus 1 first, which is equal to 1, and I've got that plus 3i. In the denominator, it's really 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now I want this in standard form, so I want a plus bi. I'm going to divide both of those terms by my 2, and I end up with my answer of 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 times i. I'm going to challenge you to pause and work this one through, or you can follow along with me. Now, I noticed in my denominator, I've got this 2 plus 3i. I need to multiply by its conjugate. Its conjugate is going to change the sign in the middle, so 2 minus 3i. And whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator as well, 2 minus 3i. Now, I'm going to use that same property, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This time a is my 2 and b is my 3i. Let's start to multiply some things out. So in my numerator, I'm going to start with the 3i times 2. That's going to be a 6i. Let me get myself a numerator here. And then 3i times negative 3i. That's going to be negative 3 times 3 is 9i squared. For the denominator, I'm going to use that difference of squares that I've got there in blue. a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3i. So I've got 2 squared minus 3i squared. Let's continue to clean this thing up. As I work this through, I've got 6i minus 9 but i squared is a negative 1, so I've got a negative 1 there. In my denominator, 2 squared is 4 minus 3 squared is 9, and I've got an i squared here. Now we are really close. In my numerator, let's grab the real part first, so the part without an i. That's going to be my negative 9 times 1, which is a positive 9. So in that numerator, I've got a positive 9, and then I also have a positive 6i, so plus 6i. I. In my denominator, this i squared is a negative 1. I end up with 4 minus 9 times negative 1. This becomes 4 plus 9. So that denominator is 4 plus 9 or 13. So we've got 9 plus 6i 
9 plus 6i divided by 13, but we've got to divide both the real and the imaginary part by 13, and we've got our answer of 9 thirteenths plus 6 thirteenths i. You are doing great. <laughs>